Hi guys, so in the previous lesson we looked at how to take a percentage like 32% to a decimal. Step one was always to divide it by 100 like that. Then you would say, oh well here we've got two decimal pla or two zeros, so that means we must move the decimal twice. And so we ended up with zero, or first we ended up with comma three two, and then we just added a zero in the front. So in this lesson, I'm going to give you the decimal like zero comma four eight. And so what you do is you just move the decimal instead of moving it forward two places, you're just going to move it backwards. So you're going to go from here, and you're going to go backwards, and you're going to end up with forty eight. So that means 48, technically 48 over 100, and then that would be 48%. Let me show you again. So in the previous lesson, we did things like 52%, then we made it 52 over 100, then we made that 0, 0,52. Now we're starting at like 0, 0,38. We're realizing that there's two, well, we're going two decimal places, and so that becomes 38 over 100. And if you got 38 out of 100, that's the same as 38%. So we're just doing it backwards. So let's say I have something like 0, 0,405. So step one is to move the decimal place, not to the end. Remember, percentage is all about 100. Percentage is all about 100. I'll say it again. Percentage is all about 100. So you're going to move it two decimal places. So that becomes 40, 5 over 100. And if you get 40,5 out of a test that is worth 100 marks, you get 40,5%. So percent is all about 100. So here's 5 that we can try. So we first want to move it two decimal places. So that's 74 over 100, which is 74%. You always want to move it two decimal places. So that's 138 over 100, which is 138%. Two decimal places, that's the number four. You don't want to say zero four. What's zero four? It's just four. So it's four over 100, and that's four percent. Two decimal places, that's three, two, four, one over 100. Wow, so that's 3,241 percent. Percentage can be above 100, by the way. Here we go, guys. This is very interesting. Only two decimal places because we're going for 100. So you go one, two. So it becomes 80, 2 over 100, and so that's 80, 2%. Okay, let's do these ones. So here's 13, 4. So we've got to move it two decimal places, so that's 1, 2, so the decimal's now there. And in this empty piece, we'll just add a zero. So it becomes 1340 over 100, and so that's 1340%. 20, 08, so you move it two decimal places. And so that gives you 2008 over 100, and that's 2008%. Then 1,6, so you move it two decimals. In this empty piece, you'll just leave a zero. So that's 160%. Two decimals, 1, 2, so that's 204 over 100, and that's 204%. 3, 2, go two decimals, so that's 320, because I fall in a zero there, over 100. And that's 320%. Okay, so you, your first step is to move two decimals. So it's 1, 2. So that's the same as 4 out of 100. And that's 4%. Two decimals, 1, 2. So it's a comma in front of the 4. So you can just do that. Over 100. So that's 0, 0,4%. Here you move two decimals, 1, 2. This one here needs to be filled in with a, with a 0. So that's 40 over 100, which is 40%. And then here you go two decimals, one, two, so that's 22,3 over 100, and that's 22,3%. And then you move two decimals, one, two, so that's in between this, so that's 2,2 2 over 100, and that's 2,2%. 2 .2%. There we go, guys. So we have now learned how to convert from decimal fractions to percentages.